Dunster Castle in Somerset, England is owned by the National Trust. The site has been occupied for over a thousand years. Originally a Saxon hill fort, Dunster Castle has a long and fascinating history. William de Moyon, first feudal baron of Dunster, built stone fortifications as early as the 12th century. The oldest surviving section of the castle is the gatehouse. In 1376, the castle was sold to Lady Elizabeth Luttrell, and it was the Luttrells who, over a time span of 600 years, transformed the castle into the Jacobean manor seen today. The Luttrells left the castle to the National Trust in 1976. Throughout the years, Dunster has been witness to so much history. In 1645, Dunster was besieged by parliamentary forces during the Civil War. It is also known that Charles II once spent the night there. With all its past, no wonder it is renowned for being one of the most haunted castles in Britain. A few years ago, a private ghost tour who were at the far end of the stable block witnessed the sudden deafening sound of a piece of masonry falling to the ground, followed by another seconds later. The stockroom in the shop has been the centre point for an abundance of ghostly activity. Stock items frequently move or fall over and a brown sticky like goo appears on items. The gatehouse dates back to 1420 and would have formed part of the Barbican entrance which protected the gateway. A flight of steps sit near to the gateway and on numerous occasions dogs have been terrified and refused to go any further. These steps lead to an oubliette or dungeon pit where prisoners were thrown in and left. It is said that during the 18th century an excavation unearthed a male skeleton which was seven feet tall along with three others. During his time he would have been considered a giant. The first room in the castle is the inner hall, which is said to be haunted by a former National Trust volunteer, Miss Hooper. On several occasions she has been seen sitting in the chair beside the piano and has been known to talk to unsuspecting visitors. It falls over her, but it isn't often enough. Many continue to feel uneasy about the oak staircase. Former residents claim to see a grey lady who would glide up the stairs. She has been witnessed so many times that National Trust staff now consider her as family. She has also been seen on the grand carved stairs leading to the main hall. which was a dormitory for Civil War soldiers, once terrified workmen. During the 1950s, two workmen were asked to lift floorboards in the room to access the heating pipes. Suddenly they felt a sense of foreboding terror, so much that they actually felt physically sick. The leather gallery is considered the most haunted room in the manor. Cleaning staff are especially scared of this room due to a member of their staff having an unnerving encounter. At 8.30am one morning the temperature suddenly plummeted and the cleaner's hairs rose on the back of her neck. She turned her head feeling as if someone was behind her and to her amazement, she saw a man wearing old-fashioned military uniform. The Victorian kitchen is haunted by a servant girl who was tragically crushed by the dumb waiter when the rope split. 
She has been seen on numerous occasions crouched down beside the dumb waiter. Orbs and light anomalies are also frequently seen in the Victorian kitchen. A volunteer in the blue kitchen once saw a foot materialise in the doorway. It stepped forward and then completely disappeared. Many have felt uneasy in the King Charles bedroom. Doors have been known to slam. The echo of footsteps can sometimes be heard, along with muffled voices. So next time you visit the magnificent and beautiful Dunster Castle and Grounds, Just remember, you might be being watched. And you most certainly won't be alone. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to our channel. Alternatively, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Paranormal Britain Official and Twitter at Paranorm Brit. Until next time, good night. <laughs>